Okay, I think we are live. Um, sorry about that. Um, Twitch giving me some issues tonight, but uh, just got rid of the app and re-downloaded it, and here we are. So seems I'm able to get through with my uh, very cool stream that I'm very excited about tonight. Um, got a. I'm gonna do uh, a typical collector the unboxing. Um, but I also have a couple other things that I think are pretty cool and um, sort of seasonally based, at least one of them, a uh, little taste test. Um, and sorry about the red face, just been playing some soccer this morning and I uh, got a little burnt. So bear with me. I'm a little bit of a, a rock lobster. All right. So I thought maybe I'd start things out a little differently and I'm going to... Um, try I, I'm gonna see if I can uh, configure this so that you could really see uh, I, I have the stranger things the ultimate pop-up book um, I thought it'd be pretty cool pretty fun to kind of go through this and see like you know the different things that pop up on the page as a kid I've always loved pop-up books what's to say that you know we we shouldn't get them now as adults um, this is totally for me not for my kids um, so yeah, I'm just going to start with that, and then I'm going to go into the taste test, and then the unboxings. Okay, so, actually, I'm not sure which way this is supposed to go, but that's pretty freaking cool. That's the uh, uh, little basement where they play their D&D. &D. Got the steps going up. Um, this doesn't seem to be necessarily... Uh, season specific i thought maybe this was going to represent season four but hold on i'm just uh seeing if there's any other thing oh wow interesting so when you open this up you got these guys popping in it's pretty cool i swear this is a uh underappreciated craft i'm glad Got folks uh, keeping this going. All right, on to the next page. And you got the uh, Demogorgon, looks like. Oh my God, look at that. That's pretty, pretty freaking awesome. Just popping out at you. Like a... And then there's a little panel here with Steve. Let's see what that does. <laughs> All right, they, they come in prepared for some action. Alright, uh, make sure to get this guy back in here. Okay, got a little Mind Flayer action. Look at that. Isn't that epic? I mean, you got the little arcade there. <laughs> That's pretty freaking cool. Alright, um... And then this little part pops out of here with Dustin. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, he's holding his little baby Demogorgon. Oh, I'm missing on this side too. They're like playing, they're trying to get the high score there. I love the, the floor. Such an 80s thing, you know? The designs and neon. Okay, so this is a part of the end of one of the seasons. I want to say season three. Um, oh, there it is. That's a better representation. So 11 in the elevator, sealing it up. Um, pretty freaking epic. Now, what does this thing do? I have no idea. That's some kind of vortex or something. Uh, looks like maybe when Hopper gets like pulled into that. Then you've got this right here, which, uh, wow, okay. Just got dark. Joyce uh, seeing, um, what's his name? From the, the Lord of the Rings getting uh, dealt with. Holy smokes, look at that. It's the uh, Star Court Mall in all its glory. A lot of retro goodness there. Okay, it says to pull down here. Um, not sure quite how to do that. Um, and 
and I'm not sure where to pull there, but, oh, what's this? I guess you could, sorry, it's kind of hard. To... Oh, I see. It uh, changes the, the girls' outfits to represent them when they went shopping to get uh, some snazzy new threads for 11, but um, uh, I think something's stuck in here. I'm going to have to go through that later, but um, very cool. Um, highly recommended to see it up co up close and personal. It's uh, pretty awesome. I don't think I could really get the grandeur of it, you know, um, on, on a stream, but all right. So this is up next. Uh, this is the 2022 do or voodoo as it were mystery flavor, annual tradition. Um, every year around this time, uh, leading up into Halloween, um, yeah, Mountain Dew puts out this, this flavor that, uh, one year tasted like Skittles. Um, let's see what it tastes like this year. Hmm. Wow. Okay. That's very citrusy. Um, very, you know what? This might be... Uh, Sour Patch Kids. Um, I think it's Sour Patch Kids. Oh my God. The best one yet. Super good. Um, I think I nailed it. I think it's Sour Patch Kids. But it's got to be. Got to be. All right. My uh, b Before the stream, I asked my daughter. I had her try some. And uh, she thought lime. But this is definitely uh, giving me a very strong Sour Patch vibe. So I'm going to stockpile some of that. That's good stuff. All right. Well, let me get down to it. Um, I'm going to start with some smaller boxes here. Of course, one of my faves, the Limited Run folks. Um, forever Physical. They're uh, trying to keep physical media alive. Um they have their detractors, uh, and I get it, you know, they say limited run, but it's a um, limited window uh, that you can order uh, their games, and then <clears throat> then, they, uh, then they don't make them anymore, ostensibly. I mean, they make extras for, like, conventions and things like that, but anyhow, um, so I ordered this recently. This is one of the last uh, uh, 3DS releases. Um, this is a, I think a double pack comes with two, oh, sorry, it's a little bright there. comes with two games. Um, if I'm saying it right, go, go Coco Polo 3d space Rep recipe for disaster and go, go Coco Polo harmonious forest revenge. I mean, just look at the art on that. It just pops. It's colorful. Um, looks like a lot of fun. Um, so I bought the dual pack. And uh, I did buy them separately. So there's one of the games. Um, and I think I have another one of them in a different order that's, you know, got caught up. If you order stuff from Limited Run, and people complain about this all the time, it takes forever, you know. Usually it's because it's in pre-production. And especially when we were, you know, going through the pandemic, you know, they just had a long, long time, you know, to, to put out the, uh, crank out the product. But... Um, it's good quality, you know, it's just a good product. So good things come to those who wait as, as, uh, the saying goes. All right. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to go for this one here. This is one of my, another one of my faves, obvious plants. Um, just, just kooky stuff. Uh, obvious plant makes, um, merchandise that, uh, like figures and, uh, uh, made up video games and uh, just weird things to as a sort of um, dig at commercialism, which and I just eat it up, of course. So I'm a sucker, but um, you know, at least I own it, right? Um, let's see what uh, Tom Foolery Obvious Plant sent me. Oh God, here we go. We got uh, this is. Just the instruction manual for a more fun game. <laughs> this There's zero gameplay. Fun to pretend. Regular price. Uh, not good value. Um, this is for the Super Jeff 
console. At least it would be if it wasn't just a game manual. Uh, <laughs> a disappointment is uh, one of the reviews. Um, so yeah, Corn Man, that's one of the figures I got recently. Just random bizarro stuff. Um, so you are become him, uh, the joy to play. So there's a lot of lost in translation kind of stuff. It's like purposely just obtuse and weird and I just love it. I, I, I eat it up, you know, it's, um, it's, oh, and, uh, I also got these, uh, these, these corn man stickers to, to go along with that. I mean, how freaking weirdo is that? You know, just, um, I just, I just love obvious plant sense of humor. Good stuff. All right, let's move on to, I'm going to go with this box here. This little box of joy is something I paid some coin for, but, um, it's a pretty neat thing. I'm, I'm getting back into some retro gaming. Oh, back. I mean, I never left, really. But, um, uh, so, okay. Um, this was a limited edition console uh, in, oh, wow, it is nice shape, in Japan. It's the, uh, th the 3DS XL Monster Hunter edition. I mean, that's beautiful, huh? Now, uh, truth be told, I'm not a, a a Monster Hunter fan per se, but I I couldn't deny like the beauty of, of this console. And I'm gonna check this out later. I I won't spend time doing that now because I got a lot of boxes and things to go through. So um, you know, uh, if it's maybe worth a broadcast or a stream, you know, I might might uh, go through some of that later. So let me go ahead and move along. Um, all right. Maybe I'll go with this one. This is from Fulfillment Center, so that sounds exciting. Um, I really have no clue of what this one is, but I'm about to find out, as are you. That's part of the joy of unboxing. Ah, yes, the old GameStop order. Okay, so I went a little crazy. I love me some Amiibos, and uh, then when I heard that uh, GameStop had some limited edition Monster Hunter, yes, I know I said I'm not a Monster Hunter fan, but um, I don't know. These were super cool. Like, uh, there's there's Palico. I don't even know who the heck that is, but um, I mean, they always get me, man. They, all they have to tell me is, like, limited edition, and I'm, like, uh, scrambling to get me some. I mean, but, but look at that. Look at that detail. I mean, that dog looks... Uh, Pretty sick. Um, and somewhere among these orders, I think I've got um, got a dragon from, from Monster Hunter, so I'm sure I'll get to that soon. Oh, wow, I have no idea why this has a bunch of mud on it, but what the heck, let's go ahead and open this one. Maybe the, the mystery will deepen as I see what's inside here. Be like... Oh, you know what? It might have been left out in the rain. Uh, yeah, this is that aforementioned dragon from Monster Hunter. Um, so I think I went a little crazy, though. Like, uh, I thought they were, like, selling out. And I was like, I always have my rule of three. You know, uh, one to collect, uh, one to, uh, uh, wait, what is it? One to display and one just in case. So that gets a little expensive though. So I think I, I went a little crazy here, but you can always return. So uh, I might just do some of that. Um, but it is fun receiving boxes. All right, on to uh, Entertainment Earth here. Uh, I think I have an idea of what this might be. Um, I still haven't gotten out of the, the Funko Pop game, uh, which, feel like I need to because those take up so much space especially if you keep them you know in their boxes which I tend to do uh yeah this is oops sorry Elvira love me some Elvira especially around this time of year uh I'm a sucker what can I say I mean they they come out with these like black light you know variants and exclusives with the sticker and uh, freaking Elvira. I just love her, the mistress of the night. Um, she is the queen of Halloween. I love Halloween. My birthday is in the month of October. So this just, uh, this just near and dear to my heart. Um, all right. So let me, let's go on to some vinegar syndrome. Now these guys, um, 
they're about keeping some genre cinema alive, like some cult classics and weirdo oddball kind of films. The kind of films that I watch in my awesome uh, movie group, uh, the QMCs. Um, all right, so we watched this movie recently, uh, Night Train to Terror. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It's, uh, that's that's a lovely look. Um, weird film. I, I honestly like a lot of the films we watch. Like they're so bizarre. Like I just they all bleed together, and I forget. Like just a lot of cheese. Uh, but one thing I, I remember about this one that I really loved was um, there's a, a a new wave type of band, uh, and they're playing on a train. That's right. It had like it was an episodic kind of thing. I think it had like three different um, movies or, or stories within the movie, and um, and this train was like, uh, I guess, you know, God and Satan were, were on the train and just bizarro. Um, but I love those type of films. Um, not really for thinking, just for kind of whacking you upside the head and, you know, just pure dumb entertainment. Um, all right. So this one is pretty big. I'm thinking this might be boring stuff like um, a lot of Funko Pop uh, protectors, I want to say, um, there might be other, other goodies in here though, so, let's see, sorry, I gotta get, get this, uh, situated, it's a little workout trying to get through some of these boxes, all right, um, well, how meta is that, there's a box within a box, um, well, that's kudos to them, you know, good good packaging. Um, collectors really uh, appreciate that. Um, I think, you know, when your stuff comes damaged, um, you know, you can call people prima donnas and first, or, uh, yeah, first world uh, problems, and, and you'd be right. Um, but, you know, collector's gonna collect. That's, that's just what it is. Um, I don't, you know, I mean, unless it's like super egregious, I'm not a huge, uh, oh yeah, this is just uh, Funko Pop uh, cases, so let me toss that aside and move on to the next thing. All right, um, this is from Fright Rags. Anybody that doesn't know Fright Rags, um, they have a lot of uh, horror type of merch, imagine that. Um, a lot of clothing and kind of things, so I'm wondering what this... Ah, yes, that's right. I forgot about these. Um, so back in the day, we used to have cups for everything. You know, movies came out, and they had a cup for it, a glass or a cup or whatever. So um, check these out, okay? A uh, freaking Teen Wolf cup. Look how colorful and, and awesome that is. It's like, I kind of don't even want to use it. I may just throw it up on the shelf because it just look it pops. It just looks so freaking cool. Love that. I got my boy Robocop here. I mean, the future of law enforcement. Heck yeah. Uh, thank you for your cooperation and all that. And uh, finally, I got these guys. I'm so happy to see these guys. Um, they're really just all, all over the place now, especially with the announcement of that new uh, PS4 game which I hope gets a physical edition and a uh, cl physical collector's edition because, you know, I'll be all over that. Uh, maybe they could have like a little clown ray gun or something with it. Um, that would be pretty cool. But uh, I'm loving these cups. Yeah, I think I'm going to throw them up here somewhere if I can find the room. A um, little, little uh, shout out to, uh, to, to Fright Rags for... <laughs> you kidding me? They included this, this sticker... Like, how cool is that? I love I love stickers, but again, problem is trying to find figure out a way like you know where to where to put them. But uh, little little card advertisement here. I know I'm human. I take it from the thing. One of my all time favorite horror sci fi movies up there with Aliens, of course, um, or Alien. Um, all right. Um, oh. This is already open, but I figured I'd go ahead and uh, showcase this. This was a really cool score. Um, speaking of the killer clowns, I mean, honestly, I mainly got it for the uh, just, I mean, look at that art. It just is amazing. Uh, I do have a record player and maybe one day I might bust it out. But, oh, man, um, 
I just, I love me some Killer Clowns. Um, may introduce the kids, the kiddos to it um, this season. Maybe maybe not my, my son. He's a little young for it. But um, also <laughs> got this pin of uh, Return of Swamp Thing. Uh, this little awesome little shop uh, called Orbit DVD. Uh, they're based out of Asheville. Um, and I, got, I thought this was really cool looking. I'm going to give this to my daughter. I think she'll really dig that. Throw it up on her backpack or something. All right. So let me go ahead and open up this bad boy. So this was sent from um, a line buddy. What I mean by line buddy is... Uh, I went to the opening of the Limited Run Games store and, uh, you know, <laughs> like any grand affair with like a much beloved company like that, um, you're going to have to, ex you know, expect to wait in some crazy long ass lines. And uh, the thing that makes that so much more bearable is when you're, you know, getting to know the people that you're in line with because you're going to be around them for hours, which um, and I was surrounded by some really cool people and you know, made some new friends, some new geek friends. And, uh, you know, uh, we uh, synced up around our mutual love of, of limited run games. Anyways, this guy, you know, we're friends on Facebook. Uh, he was um, uh, advertising that he was uh, getting rid of some, uh, you know, some of his games. And I was like, well, let me uh, go ahead and take that off your hands. And so I sent him the, the dough and he sent me the games. So wrapped them really well. Let me uh, get this bubble wrap off here, but um, and that was nice of him to include, even with the the card protectors. That was that's a nice little touch. Um, so Limited Run will include cards with their games often. So let's see here. Um, these are kind of sticking together. Maybe there's oh there's some tape. So yeah, he uh, he included a couple of cards. This is some kind of a weird shooter game. Um, Freedom Finger. So yeah, I think I believe I own it digitally. Haven't played it though. I, my backlog of games is just ridiculous. Um, but uh, that's why I do the Retrona thing, you know, so I can get through some of that. So yeah, man, uh, this is. Uh, I already have a copy of this, but uh, I just love this game so much. Um, Bloodstain, Curse of the Moon. This is um, NES style, eight bit uh, side, you know, uh, scrolling action platformer, in the same spirit as uh, Castlevania. Um, it's a much beloved game because um, the original creator of Castlevania, who I think just calls himself Iga, you know, or, you know, and, and he does, works on what he calls Igavanias. Um, uh, what's his name? I'm, I'm blanking on his name right now, but uh, so he was involved with Blood Rain. So, yeah, and then I bought me uh, Celeste, which I need to get back into this one. This was a very, very, very difficult game for me. Um, I got, I got a little frustrated and gave up, but, um, I love it. It's a cool game. I want to get back to it. And, uh, and got the little steel book to, to go with that, which is freaking cool. I think I have the steel book for the PS4 version. Um, when I went to the live, uh, opening, grand opening, uh, they were given or not given away, but you, you could buy like these boxes that had all kinds of different weird little things that they include with games. Um, all right, I have no idea what this is right here. Um, this is from Shipping Manager. So that tells me nothing, but that adds to the mystery. So let's find out. Um, okay, we have another uh, box in a box situation. Okay, looks like these are, ooh, I wonder, this might be from Spirit Halloween. They, uh, they sell some horror themed pops and there were some that came out recently that, uh, again, I'm the sucker for the, uh, all the different permutations of, you know, pops and, oh, this is actually, I think I ordered this from Amazon. So, oh man, I don't have space for this. Oh, my wife's going to kill me. I keep getting stuff. I have a problem. Oh, um, I am going through some of my collection. Don't worry. Um, you know, like I'm selling some off. But yeah, Queen, Freddie Mercury, Flash Gordon album. It's one of the most amazing uh, movie scores of all time. I mean, it's Queen. I mean, come on, you know. Um, all right. Well, getting down to the last 
several actually. Uh, I got two, four, six, seven. So this is from Spirit Halloween. Um, I want to say this might be. Uh, I'm just going to use brute collector strength to tear through this flimsy bag. Um, okay. So these, I, I just, you know, these were little kill, killer clowns, like uh, things you put on your bag. Um, and it's kind of fun to, um, you know, open up and little, little surprises or whatever. So um, I'm actually going to save these. I would open them here, but uh, my daughter loves to open, you know, little surprise things too. So I guess she gets that for me. Anyways, so I'm going to save these for her to open because um, I think she'll enjoy that. Um, all right, let's see. Let's go with this guy. This is from, oh, I think I ordered this from somebody off of eBay. I think I have a pretty good idea what this is. Recently, we watched in my bad movie group um, a cult classic horror movie uh, in the Sleepaway Camp series. And uh, this, the one we watched was uh, Sleepaway Camp 2. I think, or three, Teenage Wasteland, whatever, whichever one that was. It was, you know, just so bad that it's good. But um, it just kind of, it, it, it moved me to, when I, when somebody in the group mentioned of its existence of this box set, uh, it piqued my interest uh, because especially the, the collectability uh, factor. So apparently they released this box set um, with the, uh, Red Cross insignia on there. I don't know that they necessarily got their permission So you can see how that could be a problem, you know, Red Cross wouldn't want to be associated with schlocky 80s slasher classic kind of movies, so uh, They recalled it um, But there were of course some out in the, in the wild um, And now I have one so, Sleepaway Camp Survival Kit. You got the Red Cross. See, it's got blood, you know, like like somebody like, I need this first aid kit. Um, pretty darn cool. So this actually, uh, the other thing that, that made me uh, want to go for this was um, this set includes like production footage, I want to say, of the fourth movie, which wasn't officially released. Uh, so I just love stuff like that. Um, just put an order in with Strictly Limited Games for uh, a game called Cannon Dancer, which is uh, a spiritual successor to Strider. Uh, the same guy that, that uh, had a hand in making Strider uh, worked on this game, so I'm, I'm very excited about that. All right, let's do... Here's another one from eBay. Uh, and I don't remember... I don't remember what this one is, to be honest. Um, it's uh, another one of those mysteries. But that's why I like to sit on the boxes for some time, because, you know, it's like it's like Christmas morning. All right. Um, huh. Oh, he put it in an eBay box, but... This was, uh, I had put a, a, an order in for this game. This guy does, um, does. there are people like just kind souls, you know, they, uh, they, they take, they, they go out of their way, you know, um, to, you know, order games from the physical store for people. Uh, Cause you can't just order these games, um, you know, outright unless you know, it's within the pre-release window. Um, so there are people that go to the physical store, they take your order and they take a nominal fee. And some people even kind of bitch and complain about that. I'm like, you know what? They don't have to do this. Um, so, you know, hook them up a little bit. Um, so that was, uh, for Infernax, the, um, the, the collector's edition. I, I do own this already, but I wanted another copy. I just, uh, I don't know. I have a problem. All right, um, so we got four more, or no, five more, and that's going to do it for tonight. Um, so this one, another order from Fright Rags. Looking forward to this. Um, 
think there's some, sh maybe some shirts in here. Ooh, there's one shirt. Told you of my love for the Mistress of the Night. Check this out. I just, I love yellow t-shirts, to be honest. I mean, they're just, they pop. And then, you know, when you got other colors on there, like, you know, pink. And look, I mean, it's just, a, that's a beautiful shirt. She's a beautiful lady. Um, definitely be rocking this, this um, Halloween season and leading up to it. Um, all right. So, oh, there was a little bit more. Another sticker. Look at that. Slumber Party Massacre. We watched that one, actually, in our group, too. The the infamous uh, huge-ass drill. Um, <laughs> stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. That looks like... Uh, what is that from? It almost looks like uh, Night of the Creeps, but I could be wrong. Um, I want to say maybe uh, Scanners, but I don't know. My initial inclination was to say Night of the Creeps. All right, um... Now this this little guy here is um, just just from Target, um, so I know exactly what this is. Um, I'd heard about it. I I saw the see. I'm kind of a sucker for you know marketing and, and such. And you know, so if you have a cover that blows me away, I'm like, whoa! Like, what's this all about? This cover did not blow me away. I'm like, okay, uh, somebody sketched a little anime looking dude there and. It, you know, it, it, I didn't really think twice about it, but some people were, were talking it up and saying, you know, it's this weird. I mean, it's freaking rated M, um, you know, for violence, blood, strong language. And you wouldn't get that from just kind of looking at these graphics here. But then I saw that and had um, uh, whatchamacallit vibes. Um, oh, shoot, I'm, I'm blanking on it. I actually played it for Retronathan, the, the, the very 8-bit... Um, uh, it's designed by one person. Oh shoot. I can't remember. Anyways, I won't trouble myself about that too much. Um, let's save the big one for last. Um, okay. This, uh, this one here is from Cavity Colors, which, uh, they're, they're very much like, um, uh, Fright Rags. So they, they have a lot of, you know, it's not just horror, but mostly, I think, horror. Um, you know, maybe some sci-fi and whatnot. So, um, told you about my love of killer clowns. So, I got me some, some killer clown sweats, sweatpants. Um, that's on one side. That's on the other. Um, be rocking those this Halloween. Um, it's not even cold enough. I mean, geez, I cannot wait for the fall weather, that crisp air to, to, to kick in. Now look at this guy. Godzilla foe. I just, I love this shirt. I mean, I'm only, I mean, I love Godzilla, period. Um, I haven't seen all the movies, you know, but uh, I love them when I do see them. And Destroya, is that how you say it? Destroya. It's like, I mean, this just looks like a, a death metal, you know, kind of shirt. And I just, I just love it. I'm not usually a fan of like black t-shirts um just because they absorb heat you know but um i don't know i saw that design i was like i was sold and speaking of godzilla so again i, I love bright t-shirts uh and this one you know with the, the japanese lettering and it, it just it's such a cool image you know it just pops so um definitely gonna be rocking that um okay so this next shirt I saw somebody rocking this at uh, the, the recent uh, Mad Monster Party out here in Charlotte. And um, I was like, whoa, where did you get that? That is so freaking cool. And that, of course, then I went down the rabbit hole and I ordered a bunch more stuff from Cavity Colors. So, so check this out. So it's a Killer Clowns uh, <laughs> mashup with the uh, infamous Halloween 3 poster. You know, that's the season of the witch and all that. And I was like, oh my gosh. And it's got like the um, the different colored arms. I forget what you call that. But um, it's sort of like a baseball tee, I guess, or something like that. But I just, oh, I loved that image. I, th I thought it was cool. I love mashups. You know, that's just, that's my jam. Um, <laughs> so got more Elvira love here. Uh, man, this is heavy duty. Jeez. 
This thing alone weighs, oh, it's sort of like a zip up hoodie. <laughs> this weighs like 10 pounds. Not really, but, oh, oops, wrong side. Okay, so check her out and all, all her glory. I mean, I'm gonna be rocking this for Halloween for sure, but not beyond. I'm weird like that, you know? I like seasonal stuff and then I'm like done until the next year. Cause then it just, just feels a little bit more special. All right, um, got two more and then call it a night. Um, I don't know what this box here is. Um, oh, this is from Limited Run Games. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna wait to open this one last. I'm gonna get this big guy out of the way. Um, this I know, I, I know what this is. It's a long box um, and it's ridiculous. Let me just say that. I'll just preface it and say it. it's just ridiculous because I do not skate, um, but I do appreciate art. I like collecting things. And uh, when they were advertising, uh, they, I mean, limited run games, were advertising uh, River City Girls, you know, they were, I want to say this released when the prequel game, River City Girls Zero, was coming out. And uh, so I just jumped on it. But, okay, so you got some grip tape here. I don't know if you can see that, but... Uh, <laughs> It's like, you know, done in like comic form. I think that's super cool. Um, then you've got the uh, the skateboard deck, which features the the titular River City Girls. So I just beautiful graphic. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should take up skating. I do have a longboard. Um, I haven't used it much, but um, I do enjoy it. Um, kind of like that though you know i get into things i dabble and, but collecting that's one thing i i clearly uh, have not given up um all right so last thing from uh from river city from um limited run games so let's see what we got here as I stated before, they take a while to do their releases, um, so I have really no idea. I mean, you can check your shipping, um, you know, check up on things, but uh, I like to be just kind of surprised after months of waiting. Um, all right, so looks like I got Super Meat Boy. <laughs> I could not resist that cover. Like, that's epic. I mean, kind of looks like the thing from, uh, or just thing from the marvel universe um with she thing <laughs> i don't know but yeah that's uh, i just i love the art on on the game so i wanted to get that um and i'm you know i'm somewhat familiar with the game at least the original um and oh my god look at this see they, they include cards uh, a little recreation of um the original action comics with uh, superman's first appearance Pretty darn cool. Um, and then this. This is freaking cool. Alright. Super NES Works. Volume 1. 1991. This is a... Um, collector's edition, I think. Version of this book. Um, I'm a sucker for coffee table books. Uh, I've got a bunch I need to go through. Again. Backlogs. I'm going to... Keep me busy in my retirement, I'll tell you what. All right. Well, that does it for, uh, again, I'm Collector the Hordarian. If you join me tonight live, I appreciate you stopping by. Um, stop by any time, of course. I do these little streams impromptu, so just keep an eye out. Um, uh, join, you know, If you're not already a member of our Discord community, uh, reach out to any of us. Uh, we're on all the social media platforms. I run the Facebook page for Geeks Like Us. Um, but yeah, check out our Discord. We got a Twitter, Twitch. Uh, you know, that's what I'm on right now. I'll upload this uh, to YouTube where you can find all my other uh, collector videos as well as my Retronathan videos and other Geeks Like Us content. So again, thank you. I hope you have a wonderful uh, evening as it is now or whenever you're watching it. Just a, a great rest of the day. All right, stay geeky.